Welcome to this week's Monday Minutes. My name is Kelly. And my name is Jesse. And this week we're going to show you an oldie but goodie, how to batch item delete from your Koha system. And there is actually several ways to do this. And we're going to show you all the exciting ways. Yeah, this is exciting. And this is going to update our YouTube playlist to have the new look of Koha in these videos. So this is exciting. Yeah. So of course, we're going to start with our personal favorite, which is the item search. Um, so in this particular case, we're going to show you how to get rid of some withdrawn items. So if I come into my item search, I'm going to come down below and I'm going to say, show us everything that's marked withdrawn within the system. Now, remember down in your output down below, you do have the option to do a screen CSV, or just a straight up barcode file. So if you don't want to verify those withdrawns and you just are ready to make that deletion from your catalog, you can grab that barcode file right away. If you want to verify them, hit the screen and that'll take us back where we can see we have over 385 items that are marked withdrawn. So this gives you a good opportunity to come through and verify that everything that's on there really does need to be withdrawn. Now, for this example, we're just going to grab our, um, we're just going to grab a couple of these in here so we can walk you through the process of how to mark these in the system. So we're going to grab these first five and we're going to come over here and we're going to export the barcode file. Now, what's the next thing we're going to do, Kelly? Well, batch modifications live in cataloging now. So we're going to head over to the cataloging module. And from here, right in the center of the screen, we are going to jump right into batch item deletion. So this allows us to come over and perform uh, deletion. Now, again, you could have walked out to the sacks and grabbed maybe, you know, let's say 50 items that you want to move, remove from the system. You could come down here and just scan those barcodes right in. Alternatively, we could grab that file that we just downloaded grab those barcodes, and then bring those in. And Kelly, what will this present for us? This is going to show us all the details about the titles that we selected in that barcode and from starting in the item search, headed over to the barcode. And this gives us an opportunity to see everything. They're automatically selected to say, these are the five or six that you are scheduled to delete. Are you sure? At this point, you could unclick any of these and say, oh, I didn't mean to do that one. Now, one key trigger down here is the option. If you select that checkbox, that will de delete the record if there are no items remaining. So if that was the last item on the record and you really want to get rid of it, you can also delete that record at the same time. Definitely. So we're going to click, right? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. So now we'll come in here. We're going to hit delete selected items. Um, in 2211, Koha now shows you um, the essentially the queue. Um, so you can actually see what's happening. We can see the progress, um, the number of items that were deleted, and then also the number of records that were deleted. Now we're going to do a second way um, within the system, and we have a report here. And this report actually shows us withdrawn items. So just we'll do a quick look at the SQL. What we're doing is we're grabbing our item number, the title, and the item type from the items table. We're doing a quick join on the Biblio number, and we're saying we're looking for items that are marked withdrawn. So now what this does is this gives us an opportunity to come in and actually batch, modify, or delete these items. So you can go right into batch item deletion. Kelly. I mean, seriously, this is fantastic. And again, you're brought to the same page that you were before. So we eliminated a step without going to the item search. We don't have to scan the books. We can just run a report and say, show me everything that applies to this one parameter or several parameters we're looking for. What I love is all the same ways that you get there, the same process is going to happen. So you're going to go through that same the same screens once you get that file into the batch item deletion option. All right. Well, today kicks off COACON. So if you are watching remotely, make sure to check out um, the streams, Twitter, whatever your social media stream is, and uh, make sure you watch what's going on. And we are on Monday presenting. So don't, don't miss that one.
Okay. Okay. Have a great week. Great week. Bye.